How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? It's Lauren Line here again today, bringing you yet another episode of Lord's Legendary Playthrough of Star Wars The Old Republic. In today's episode, we are going to be continuing from where we left off last time at Gratham's Estate. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the series or you're just joining us for the first time, welcome, welcome. This is my legendary playthrough, which basically means we're going to be doing as much of the game as possible with as minimal assistance. So I am not going to be wearing any gear throughout this playthrough. I'm not going to be using any guild perks or guild experience boosts of any kind. I'm also not going to be using any XP boosts. Uh, basically, we're going to try and limit the playthrough as much as possible. So let's continue and find out what's going on at Gratham's estate here. As, of course, Darth Barris wants us to investigate this uh, Sith Lord. We also have a little side quest here, so let's do that very quickly. Shh! I have to be very careful. Lord Grathan's eyes are everywhere. He's suspicious of all strangers. He must be blind to our doings. Right. Um. Yeah, uh, identify yourself. Your name, now. Captain Bryn, Imperial Special Forces. This work requires intense concentration, a special kind of mind. Grathan's trouble, see? Big trouble. Mad scientist type, likes weapons, cyborgs, droids, ergonomic chairs. My mission's to keep an eye on him, watch for anything suspicious. But I don't know what you're doing here. Um, I don't want to sort of tell him what I'm up to. I have business with the rogue lord. Business, eh? Like killing business, I suspect. You've got a glint in your eye, like maybe you're not paying a friendly visit. See, my orders are to keep my distance and not enter Lord Grathen's place or cause any kind of ruckus. But I'm supposed to see about a certain prototype turret design the Rogue Lord supposedly acquired. Empire wants it for mass production. Right. So, a turret. I'm interested, I'm interested. What's so special about this turret? I don't know specifics, only that it's supposed to be pretty powerful. Lord grathen has got the turrets hidden inside somewheres. I'd go looking for them myself, but orders are orders. I have to stay put. Since you're going in, you could maybe poke around and see if you can't find the plans to those turrets. Sure, no problem. Now you'll see what a Sith is capable of. Good deal. That's the spirit. The thing is, you never get past the turrets unless you take out a guard and get a security badge. The security badge transmits a signal that tells the turrets the badge holder is friendly. So the op is, get a security badge off a guard, find those turrets and grab the plans. Easy, right? I'll be keeping an eye out here, right where you found me. Excellent. Alright, let's send Vetty off on a little mission first to go get some... I said Vetty, I meant Vet. Uh, let's send her to go get some compounds. And in the meantime, we will be going through Gratham's estate and finding these... What is this, anyway? A strange weapon. So we're going to look for a strange weapon in Gratham's estate. Um, oh, that's the uh, Revenite thing. We'll get back to that. Um, for now, we need to also... Demonstrate that Lord Gratham is not untouchable. Okay, so there's a spy in the Gratham compound who Darth Barris wants us to speak to. Let's go and see what's going on there then, shall we? Oh, wow. Got some gun darks out here and everything. This is really tough as well, because obviously, um, if I haven't said this already, we can't use the minimap. Because um, it makes the playthrough a bit too easy. So we're going to try and do this off memory from my past experiences and off the quest log, which is quite difficult in itself. There we are. So we have to explore the weapons lab. We'll have to find what that is. Oh, all my, Mac, uh, all my keybinds, sorry, are switched out, so it's going to take a little bit of getting used to as well. Get that grappling droid down, excellent. Yeah, with no gear, this is starting to get tougher now. Luckily, though, someone appears to be clearing the path. Let's try and engage on this droid first, see how um, we fare against him. Right, that's uh, retaliation and ravage, there we are. Some beautiful Sith Warrior abilities right there. Um, also, additionally, if you have any armor sets you want to recommend, for those of you who are unaware, I change my armor set every planet we go to. So for Balmora, which is the next planet up, I'm going to be changing my outfit. So feel free to recommend any outfits through. I've put some cartel coins on the game, and we can uh, basically get something quite fancy and nice. So any recommendations you want, and that can be our armor set for the next planet. Let's get these grappling droids here, shall we? Stun them out. I believe he's the healer, this one's the healer, which is quite interesting. It's very peculiar not having all of my moves, I will be real. 
get him down. Excellent, excellent. Some good old loot that we're just going to be selling. Right, I believe, is that the, uh, yes, that's the weapons facility over there. So let's head to the weapons facility first. Sort of stealth our way through here if we can. Get this group in the back. Because we will try and do this bonus while we're at it. Get these grappling guards down. Vile creatures. <laughs> Vile minions to a rogue Sith Lord. Such rebels. I think our plan is actually... Because I wanted to get on good terms with Gratham originally last episode. Because I thought that might be an advantage to us having like a Sith ally. But to be honest, I think it's best we put an end to him and just uh, please Darth Barris. Because we want to get uh, Darth Barris in like a... Uh, yeah, we want to be in Darth Barris' good books for now. Yeah, get him down. Get him down. And bam. That's bonus. Oh, part one. Oh, wow. We have to defeat 30 of Gratham's forces. Oh, that's crazy. We'll try and do that as well later. Um, what's in here then? What's in this weapons lab? Where's my turret? I'm here for my turret. Upstairs, I presume. Excellent. He's down? Cool. Right. This is not a turret. Authorization. Authorization. System cannot identify. Please don't go. Please don't go. What's happening? Are you with Lord Grathen? Are you invading? System cannot identify. Um. Uh, okay. I'm not here with Grathen Fram. Uh, sorry to say. I'm here on my own. Lord Grathen is an enemy. Then who? System cannot stop. Reassigning priorities. Operating number 2188697. Please, did the Duchess send you? Please help me. Um, right. So you're a person. Tell me what happened to you. Grathen's people took us prisoner for experiments. The scientists cut open our heads, put us in droids. Identification model OHK-99. They program us for advanced intelligence. Enhanced combat tactics. Now my body's lying dead across the room. I can see it. Um, right. Yeah, the, I'm going to see if I can do anything here. This is a bit mental. Is there anything I can do? I'm the last. The others have all been converted. They can't talk, can't disobey. But I know they can still think, feel. Please listen. You could disable us all. Send the shutdown command from our central command console. Please. You could put an end to this. Use the command console. I can't go with you, motor and combat systems non-functional. Please make it stop hurting. Excellent. Okay, so what? You're good what... to go. Oh, very rude. Um, <laughs> so what, what I'm thinking of doing there, if there's an option to send them over to Barris or something, I'll go with that one. I think it's up this elevator. I vaguely remember this quest, or at least the outline of this room anyway. Let's head up here. Here's a guard bet. Having all my keybinds in the wrong place is very peculiar. Right. Oh, there's a guard. I'll get him. Good attempt. Cool. So whichever option is the most beneficial to the Sith is what I'm going for here. Oh, here we are. Send the droids to the Empire. Perfect. Oh, of course, that would disapprove. I mean, it's not a very nice thing to do. Oh, turrets. Wait for that elevator. Excellent. Look at that. Very clean. Very nice. I'm not too bothered about that loot on this tune, to be honest. And down we go. Uh, so this was not the weapons lab. This was the war machine, which was a separate thing. Um, not too sure where the, the weapons lab is. Is it over there, I'm perhaps thinking? We'll try over there. Because I don't want to miss anything at Gratham's Estate. I, I know sort of where the main quests are, but some of these exploration quests, of course, I haven't done since, like, vanilla, so... Very long time ago. When I say vanilla, I mean like um, very early level 50 stuff.
this to me seems like, oh, I don't, I don't have all my keybinds. I keep running in here like, you know, trying to use abilities I don't have yet. I'm so used to being a 70. Let's get this guy down. Excellent. Huh. These are interesting. I haven't seen these textures used anywhere else. It's very nice, unique textures there. Perhaps this is not the right place for just yet. We'll come back here once I've worked out exactly why we need to be in there. But at least it, it contributes towards our um, 30 kill bonus here. Right, let's get to drill. What is it? Drakil Bal, our main quest that Barris wants us to do. Let's try. Let's try and get to him for now, and sort that out. Make some general progression there, rather than dilly dally too much. Let's get these droids anyway. There we are. Perfect. I'm pretty sure if I recall correctly, because obviously I'm not allowed to use the map for this playthrough. He's in. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, I got conquest. About to say I just had like a what felt like a crash there, but it wasn't. Galactic Rampage and level up. Perfect, perfect. So we're heading up here. Heading around this experimental weapons lab. Uh, I don't know if this is actually the experimental weapons lab. Um, that one back there, perhaps. No, that's the Sith Inquisitor phase. It's definitely this way. This is where um, Drakil Bow is, if I recall. We'll find out. We will. We're just going to walk in and be like, oh, he's not here. Well, rest in peace. Yeah, he's upstairs. We're good. Because it does say in the, the quest log as well, if I recall. He's in the warehouse. Yeah, this is the warehouse. Excellent. You must be the operative Lord Barris sent. I thought he'd choose a stealthy assassin, not some senseless savage. Oi, I have a job to do. Just tell me the situation here. Fine. I'll rise above my discontent. For now, now listen. Lord Grathen is a rogue Sith who boldly defies the Dark Council. Locked away here, he's been untouchable. Lord Barris wants to let Grathen know he can be reached. And after a year undercover, I've discovered the way. Lord Grathen has a son. Okay. I'm fascinated to hear where this is going. I was assigned to find Grathen's weakness. He's kept his son a secret in order to protect him from his enemies. Grathen would be devastated if his only child and heir was dead. That would send a message. Right. I mean, I want to go as far as to kill Grathen himself. So, um, that, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it, it could have repercussions. Won't killing his son just make Grathen mad? Lord Barra seeks to imbalance Grathen. Make him sloppy. Grathen's kid is nearly 20 and strong with the Force. He's been trained in the ways of the Sith since birth. You'll have your hands full. Hmm. Well, good. The tougher, the better. Grathen's away on business. I managed to hack a special spike that will get you inside his private quarters. But first you're going to have to knock out Grathen's surveillance station so you aren't seen entering the quarters. Okay. Um. Yeah, the question then is, um... Are we taking a stealth approach? What do I care if I'm observed? The surveillance system is also a sophisticated defense network. If you don't destroy the system before entering the private chambers, you'll never make it. All you have to do is locate the monitoring stations around the compound and, well, stick your lightsaber in them. Something that I'd normally need a... Think uh... you can handle that, brute? Yeah, a map, a map would be great for that. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, he's annoying me now as well. Keep calling me names, Bo. You're playing with fire. Is it so easy to get under your skin? Yes. That's all. <laughs> Destroy the monitoring stations, then get inside Grathen's private quarters. The son's name is Beelslit. Find him and end him. I'll meet you back here when you're done. Try not to screw up. I kind of like his attitude. Oof. Don't like you either, Vet. Be gone. In fact, let's send you on a quest. Nobody better mess with us now. I mean, I'm basically going to be doing Barris's job for him because I'm just going to kill this rogue Sith. I think that's sort of the uh, what, what I'm going for here. Um, not 100% sure what the weapons lab is. I thought it was here, but it... That's the Sith Inquisitor phase. Might be something over here. Oh, there's oh there is a side quest over here. That's right. Perfect. Ismar Brengul. Let's speak to her. Yes, 
so violent intruder laying waste Lord Grattan's compound. I applaud you. I'm Ismar Brengel, one of Lord Grattan's indentured scientists. I'd like to make your destruction of this place highly profitable. Oh, excellent. Interesting. Now you've got my undivided attention. Good. We're natural allies, believe it or not. Three years ago, Lord Grattan lured me to work for him. He promised great opportunities and exciting fields of study. Instead, I became a prisoner, slaving on freakish creations Grattan uses to advance himself. It's a thankless existence. Destroy your oppressor, then. You must act on your hatred and kill Grattan. Kill him? Don't be absurd. He's untouchable to someone like me. I'll have to settle for stealing from him. <laughs> Grattan cybernetics researchers, a sadistic bunch of scum, developed cyborg body parts that regenerate. The technology will revolutionize warfare. It's worth a fortune. Excellent. I have a buyer looking to manufacture a cyborg army. You'll get 60% of my profits if you steal the cybernetic researcher's files. Oh my goodness. That could be very profitable. You have a deal. For terms that generous, I think we can do business together. Excellent. You won't be disappointed. There is a catch, of course. You'll have to activate the main console by sending override commands from the remote terminals. Oh, no. Rathen protects his computers with lethal security forces. War droids, cyborgs, even genetically engineered weapons. Expect heavy resistance. Right. <laughs> Good advice. Consider me warned. It's the least I can do. Take this data spike. Insert it into the main console at Grathen's central lab. The spike will download all the data we need. When you're done, bring me the spike. I'll arrange its sale and transfer credits to your account. Go now, be swift. Will do. Thank you, lady. I like her. She's funny. Like, she's quite clever, quite witty. My sort of character, to be honest. Let's, uh, sneak into this estate then, shall we? Let's go, um, kill Gratham. Gratham's estate! Law thing! We did it! Obviously, I'm hoping I found that in edits and putting it on screen now. Let's see... Well, there's one console. Making progress already. Might be one in there as well, so we'll go in that room. I'm not sure if um, these remote terminals are actually in the estate itself or exterior. Okay, so it's not in here, but I, I will take a quick glance in this room. Because it's a very nice room. <laughs> oh, wish we could have like a Gratham estate style stronghold. I do, in generally, I, I wish there were more strongholds in the game, like somewhere around more like the um, the 25 or 30 mark, rather than I think it's coming up to 10 now. We're almost at 10. Um, but yeah, if you look at ESO, for example, they have a lot more homesteads than this MMO, which is a shame because there's a lot of potential here. Also, I feel Swirtle needs to do away with the whole um, the Oh, just missed the lift. You know, the, the current homestead system where they have, like, these areas that are allocated, allocated for um, decorations. What's the ESO? You can just place decorations anywhere. I forget the name of them. What are they called? Um, I want to say mats, but that's not the right word. Right. Let's uh, find Gratham then. I'm going to see if I can actually kill Gratham. I, I generally believe it's an option, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. It might be a bit um, coy of me to just go in there and attempt to assassinate, you know, a Sith Lord, but, you know, whatever makes Barris happy. I'm not sure if he'd be happy, actually, because he's kind of doing his job for him. He might take it as uh, quite disrespectful. You're good to go. Thanks for that. If you're on passive, you can't, you can't help me. I will have another rule going. I'm not going to have Betty help, or Bet help, sorry, until, like, she's absolutely necessary. Um, so let's dismiss her for now. Bye, Bet. Excellent. Another mainframe down. We have one more to destroy. If I recall, it's this way. Yeah, there it is. How much of this all from memory is really tough. Right, let's grab that. Also, oh, not the security door. It's either left or right here. There's a 50-50 chance. Excellent. There we go. Look. And then I believe Gratham's up there somewhere. Um, yeah, let's grab this. Mother, a stranger approaches. You don't know the half of it, kid. I am Selvanta Grathen. How dare you enter my son's room uninvited? Who are Ooh. you? What are you doing in your son's room, old lady? I mean, whatever, you know. Uh, I'm sorry to say, I'm not here for you. I'm here for your son. Yeah, let's say bad news. I am doom. Oh. You'll find I'm not so easily intimidated. My son is still an acolyte, but I am Sith. Beelslit, take cover. 
No, mother. I stand at your side. Attack! Oh. Maybe there isn't an option to kill... Uh, that's a shame. I thought there was an option to kill Gratham. Uh, the thing is, I, I have done all this before. But, uh, again, I've never rewatched the cutscenes. So I've never engaged in the story. So this is going to be really interesting. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. It was a very long time ago as well. Right. Uh, so. Yes. Enough. It's clear we are not your match. If we're to die, I must know. What have we done to deserve death? Death is arbitrary. <laughs> um, that's not the point. Yeah. It's not personal. If not, then perhaps you'll entertain another option. You have fought your way into the inner sanctum of a powerful Sith Lord stronghold. You are a breath away from the Master himself. Spare us, yes. and I'll help you destroy Lord Grathen instead. Yes. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going for that option. Uh, you'd say anything? You reek of desperation. Oh. I'm sure I do. I married Lord Grathen for power. It was a means to an end. Now I want out. I'm strong, but can't touch my husband. How long I've waited for someone to end his oppressive rule. I'm listening. You have my attention. A wicked plan is taking shape. Long ago, my husband was nearly beheaded. Now, he cannot exist without his helmeted mask. Everyone knows this. Kill Lord Grathen. My son will wear the mask and assume his mantle. He'll publicly rant that his son was murdered. No one will be the wiser. Excellent. All right, I'm down. Fine. I'll kill the father instead. Excellent. <laughs> you won't regret it. Lord Grathen deserves to die. With this pass card, you may enter Lord Grathen's secret chamber. You'll find him there. After you've ended Lord Grathen's miserable existence, bring his masked helmet to me. I'll return shortly. Sit still. This won't take long. Be wary of Lord Grathen. There are few as attuned to the dark side as he. Um, I don't think I like the sound of that. I'm not sure why it's light side. <laughs> I'm killing a guy. Again, it is Lord Gratham. But bear in mind, I'm doing Barris's job for him. And to be honest, if I had the option, I would just take the mask and leave. So, <laughs> like, I'm not going to let there be another Gratham. I'm just going for the full-blown Sith option here. Right, in we go. Oh, God, okay, this is My actually like a Sith War. invited guest finally arrives. Your feelings betray you, youngster. I sensed your murderous intentions the moment you entered my sanctum. Oh. Yeah. What's more, your unshielded mind has revealed your accomplice, my loving wife. I can tell you're a lowlife. Your unshielded mind reveals that you're scum. Oh, get right. Ah, another naive youngster who's fallen under my wife's influence. Selvanta is a user, child. She's obsessed with power. It's one of the things that attracted me to her. But it's outgrown its amusement. I am death itself, child. Come embrace the darkness. Right, so we're gonna try this once without vet. Oh, I'm gonna put that on passive. So she's not able to help me. Okay, you're actually quite tough. Oh, you are tough. Okay, we're getting some damage here. We're getting some damage here. Come on. This is going to be clutch, because I've now used up most of my abilities. Come on. Oh, mission accomplished. Look at that, 25% HP. It is getting tougher, it is getting tougher. And we've got Lord Gratham's mask. So now we have to go kill the child and the wife. Uh, <laughs> God, this is a nice house, though. Gratham's estate, man, it's beautiful. Really nice looking. I can see, I can see why you'd... Uh, take up arms here. This must be his bed chambers, his target dummy. He must be going, uh, trying to up his pass for 6.0, you know, <laughs> get someone on the pass leaderboards. Let's go and speak to Selvanta, shall we? Speak to Selvanta and start wrapping things up for this episode. Excellent. Hello there. Time to die as well. Yes, I sensed my husband's death. Lord Grathen is no more. What pleasure to think he suffered. Meant nothing to me. I took no pleasure in killing him. Mother, what does this mean? Am I truly to become the master of this well, house? I'd like to kill you now. You will wear his mask and assume his identity. But you are not yet ready to rule, my dear. The voice will be yours. 
but the words will be mine. I have longed for my father's death and the chance to claim his power. Yes, this is a great day. You have served us well, my new friend. Um, you're lucky? You owe me your lives. Yeah. Even that is an understatement. For appearance sake, you'll still be unwelcome here. But today, my son and I have become your secret allies. I'm not your friend. I mean, I, okay, if I don't have the option to kill them, I might as well become friends with them. Be sure it remains a secret. Have no fear. It would be disastrous for me if our secret were exposed. Of course. Well, I guess I've got an ally in Gratham's estate. I have much to do now that I control House Gratham. Oh, would have loved to have killed them. But I, it might have gone against Barris's plan ultimately in the end anyway, so... I'm not 100% sure what Barris's intentions were with that, other than to, like, overthrow the Sith Lord, which is kind of what I've done for him. So we'll find out what's going on there. Um, so yes, level... Enter the weapons lab in the second level of the central compound of Lord Gratham's estate. So I think that is in this building, so we better do that while we're in here. Um, uh, yes, it is. Thank, thank goodness. And that's the Sith Inquisitor phase there, is it? So we're heading here. Oh, they're flame turrets. That is interesting. Let's get you down. Get you down and grab you. And Vet, if you want to go do some uh, treasure hunting there, friend, that's great. Cool. Oh, I was hoping maybe that would uh, prevent me from taking damage, but it didn't. Yeah, but str not very strong turrets, but I thought he'd just jump through it, you know, with a force leap. Or force charge, even, so. Oh, turrets. Oh, no moves. It's so weird not having my rotation. There you go. We'll get. We'll knock some more from the class vendor next episode. Oh no! Oh, this is a disaster. Simply terrible. Somebody has to stop me. Somebody has to stop me right now. Um, <laughs> I don't understand, mate. What's the situation here? These turrets. I'm programmed to understand over 100 languages and dialects, and in not one is the phrase on fire positive when referring to a person. Oh. Why, of all droids, I was chosen to maintain these awful things and protect their schematics, I will never understand. Oh, if only I didn't have this terrible restraining bolt restricting my actions. I'd destroy the plans to those turrets in an instant. Um, yeah, don't do that. It's a good thing that restraining bolt's there. I don't know how you can say such a thing. The turret schematics are stored within my databanks. If the restraining bolt was removed, I could delete them, ensuring that no more turrets could be built. Well, it's the next best thing to disabling the turrets themselves. If you value organic life, you will remove my restraining bolt and let me destroy the schematics once and for all. Well, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how powerful the turrets are. They're a bit naff to Sith, but I suppose it could be quite useful on, like, Republic troops, so no, I'm not going to do that. I'm downloading the plans for the Imperials. Yeah. If you're insistent on it, there's nothing I can do. After all, I'm not programmed for combat. There, there. If it were up to me, organic species would not be allowed to do such horrible things to each other. Yeah. It's not too bad. <laughs> we just pretend our enemies are droids. Yeah. Oh my. I think if I had a stomach, I would be sick right now. <laughs> That's quite funny. Yep. Uh... Having a bad day when you're introduced to a Sith like me. I'm gonna see if I can just parkour over this. I can go around maybe. There you go. Oh. Jump over this maybe. Oh, do I have to go through the fire? Really? Is there a button? Is there a thing on the other side? Here I am trying to be tactical and smart. Oh, you can just go through a little gap there. Never mind. That's silly. So that's um. Yep, two returns. We've got a bonus still to kill two more of Gratham's forces. That's a bounty hunter phase. That's nothing to do with us. I guess every all the classes come to Lord Gratham's estate, I suppose. I don't remember coming here on my PT, but heavens knows. Um, got some people up there we could grab. Yeah, let's grab them. Oh. Our two main ways of generating energy right now are Aegis Assault and Basic Attacks. It's a bit torturous. Cool. Part 3 of the bonus mission. 
Activate the experimental warbot and take its data core. Oh, there's a group of people coming in. Must be a group of friends. Um, where is that? In here, maybe? This Imperial Agent phase. I don't actually know where the warbot is. That's a group phase, so perhaps in there. That's very interesting. I have no clue where to find this warbot. Um, I don't want to spend too much time looking around the facility. Perhaps it's um up upstairs. Oh no, I, I do vaguely remember there is a button you the click. Oh wow, that did a good job for once. Good job, Bert. Yeah, keep keep going, keep it up. Yeah, I I generally I I vaguely remember there being something up on the surface that you can click near a, near an elevator. I'll have to look around. Um, obviously we won't do that this episode. I'm pretty sure it is literally right next to the warehouse. It's a very vague memory, though. I, I remember doing it as like a group thing at level 50, like um, because it was the first. I remember having our first conversation about the world boss because there was talk of this massive beast on Droman Castle, and we were all hyping about it back in the day, which is nothing now. It's a little thing, but back then everyone was like, "Oh, world bosses are really cool." Well, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to sneak through this. Oh, I did. But yeah, it's just over there. So we'll head over that way in a second, which is where my character model is pointing. Let's quickly return to Drick Kill and wrap up the ep this episode there. Get you down. We've already fought these guards before. They're not too tough. And straight through you. We, kill we killed the healer last. Oopsie. Right. Do we explain this to Drakil, or should I, I? I think I'll tell Drakil kind of what happened, but I'm also speak to Barris. I'm surprised you survived. So is it done? Is Grathen's son dead? The kid was tough. He put up a good fight. So you had trouble, huh? Maybe Lord Barris's opinion of you is overblown. Doesn't say much for Grathen security forces if a clumsy clod like you was able to bang into his private chamber and off his son. You're laughable. Can I kill him? I find your empty chatter amusing. You'll find my lightsaber a bit sobering. Killing the murderer of Grathen's son will solidify my cover here. Barris can replace you easily. Oh, perfect. Time to Barris die. Will be needing a new spy. I'm going to enjoy killing you. Though I'm more than capable of facing you alone, a smart man uses every advantage. And I am a smart man. Are you? Oh, I set the, the alarm. Intruder! The intruder is here! Everyone to me! Attack! Hello, good luck. <laughs> There's two of your guards dead. Oh, look. I also got the defeat Grafton's guards. I guess, oh, I guess that's like actually a mission, never mind. Retaliation and full scream. Rest in peace. And return to Lord Barris. Isn't that the dream, guys? Got to return to Barris. What are we on? Yeah, we're, we're sort of we're going to have to wrap things up there. We're a little far into the playthrough now. So there we are. Thank you all very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed another episode of Lord's Legendary Playthrough of Star Wars The Old Republic. I will be back with another episode probably next week. And we'll continue, of course, with a little bit more of Gratham's estate. And then we'll return to Barris and prepare for whatever other assignments Barris has for us. So yeah, thank you all for watching again. And I will see you all next time. Bye guys. <laughs>